latest from the United Nations, appointing the country of Syria to preside over the UN Disarmament Conference. Your take. I mean, I don't, I, I don't think there's ever been a more immoral, evil organization like the UN. I mean, this is an organization founded on the principle of moral equivalency between the Soviet Union and the United States. Stalin and our president sat at the same table with the same veto power, and then Mao Zedong got to join them with the same veto power, murderers of tens of millions of people, and the freest country in the history of mankind have been treated by the UN as equal as the same. This is an organization that should have been shipped. I have a perfect place for them. I, I think the headquarters of the United Nations should be in Caracas, Venezuela. I think it's the perfect place for them. I hear the food is exceptional. And, uh, you know, they, they can starve with the rest of the socialists out there. I, I can't imagine such a such a, uh, a moral equivalency. Syria, one of the great evil regimes in the world today, killing its own citizens, its own women and children, having any role in the United Nations. Why should we even in the organization? We should have kicked it out a long time ago. The United States should have withdrawn a long hey, time hey. ago. Yeah, you know, Iran, I agree with every word you just said, and I agree that the United Nations is an evil institution. I think the United Nations hates Israel, uh, is no friend of America. Why is it that way, though? How did it become that way? Well, it became that way because of, of us. I mean, we believed, coming out of World War II, that we needed to establish some kind of international organization. And we believe, as I think the current administration believes, that it's okay to sit at a table with a murderous dictator and pretend that they are civilized people that you're going to negotiate a deal with. And I'm referring to North Korea. There's no way you sit down with the murderous dictator of North Korea and negotiate anything, anything. We should ignore them, pretend they don't exist. And if they're a threat to the United States, we should wipe them out. But you don't negotiate with dictators. We should have learned from Hitler. We should have learned by the fact that we, we, we negotiated with Stalin and gave him all of Eastern Europe. But we have this tendency to, uh, you know, to pretend that dictators are not as bad as they really are, to, to give them the credibility that, you know, they're just human beings, they're leaders. We forgive the, the evil and the violence and everything associated with it, and we sit down and negotiate yeah. with them. We've done it for, for, for decades and decades and decades. It doesn't matter what administration, and it, and it always fails. It always, always fails, and the UN is based on that. All countries are equal. They're all equally moral. You know, who are you to judge? This is multiculturalism taken to the nth degree. And to that point, Iran, our ambassador to the disarmament conference, Robert Wood, called Syria's presence here a travesty. Let me ask a broader, more general question. Yeah, 18 months there. into the why Trump administration. The, why isn't the U.S. I mean, withdrawing, right? Why don't they withdraw? If it's a travesty, why are we staying in, you know, in the disarmament commission? We should just leave. Uh, that, that would be meaningful. But to say it's a travesty and not do anything yeah. about it means nothing. It, it, it really means nothing.